and they absolutely dominated. On Friday, LaShawn McCoy, we all had a conversation. <laughs> and you, more than anybody, educated us. You know we hard-headed. Yeah, that's we true. We don't be listening. We don't be listening. Ask James Jones. Ask Chase yeah. Daniel. I'm your boy, Emmanuel Lacho. Sometimes we don't be listening. I apologize, Shady. Yeah. And you said eventually the Bills are probably going to need some dogs. Yeah. Come on, you said eventually. Shady on. told us eventually they're going to need some dogs. It's a Monday show. Let's have some fun. Shady McCoy, is the Bills lost? Was it a bad game? It just happened. Bad game. Put it away. Mm -hmm. Or... Bad sign for the rest Bad of the sign. Mm. Right. I always tell people, if you really want to know the difference between a team, when you turn on the when you turn on the game, right? Turn, turn the volume down. Mm -hmm. And for the first two drives, you tell me who's better. Yeah. Yeah. Right? I, when I watch yeah. this game, first of all, the talent jumps out at you. Yeah. The Ravens had way more talent yeah. on offense and defense than the Bills. That yeah. just jumps out right out. Okay. The second thing is, they were a little more physical though, yeah. right? A little. Huh? They took it to them. Right? Like no we was no secrets, there was no game. Yeah. If we had Questions on if Derrick Henry is still that guy. If we had questions that if Derrick Henry can still take over games, well, he answered it. All of them. Right, from the get-go. <laughs> right? So my thing is, I told you eventually we're gonna need some stars. Yeah. That's why this league is made for, right? I know the quarterbacks is really dumbing down the league as far as just being a regular and average and getting elite money. But all the other quarterbacks, right? You gotta be good. And we have a good quarterback, we have good role players, wide receivers, tight ends, good linemen. On defense, you got guys that can stop the run. You got some linebackers that can run sideline to sideline. You got safeties that go from this side to that mm -hmm. side, and corners that can D up and tackle, and they can cover. Yeah. But when you watch the Bills, I don't really see that. I see a guy, Josh Allen, who's probably playing the best football out of anybody in football right now, but he needs help. I need a, a superstar wide receivers when guys can't get open. Mm -hmm. Yo, can I depend on you in the huddle? Ah, you just you only played two years. Ah. Ah, you've been, you've been a journeyman your whole life. Ah, you, you, you see what I'm saying? I need a guy I can depend on. And Stephon Diggs always said this. Stephon Diggs and Josh Allen was meant for each other, right? Josh was really, really good before he had Stephon, but he wasn't elite, elite. Yeah. Stephon was really, really good, but he wasn't elite, elite. They put them together, and they made an elite duo. So, yes, I think that in on defense, before I get off this topic, Do you think defense, too far oh. you. They didn't have that much excitement either, though. I didn't see no star the players. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't see no guys stopping the run. I didn't see no guys running sideline to sideline, making tackles. I didn't see no safeties making no plays. I see them getting toasted and burnt. Mm -hmm. I see guys converting third and eights, third and tens, third and nines. Mm -hmm. I seen that. And Lamar didn't even throw the ball that much. So, if you ask me, I told you, when they start playing elite, talented teams, not the trash Jaguars with a bad quarterback, not Kyler Murray, who's been up and down his whole career, in, in the bad Cardinals. We play a team like the Ravens, who was the AFC champ or in the championship game last year. It makes a difference. And you've yeah. seen it last night. Incredibly well said. That's how you start off a Monday show. Mm. We better give y'all heat all day. I must say I agree with Shady McCoy, Chase, and James. And the reason I do is all offseason, I said something. And the Bills, through three weeks, proved me wrong. Yesterday, James, they proved me right. All offseason, I said, this is the most talented, talent-depleted roster the Buffalo Bills have, and it will cost them. I said, Josh Allen will likely have his worst year in his last four years this year. But after dominating week one, dominating week two, dominating week three, I said, you know what, Acho, you were wrong. But last game, the Bills proved me right, and this was the reason. When they got off the bus, you noticed the difference. I'll talk about the defense. I'll let y'all brilliant offensive minds talk about the <laughs> offense. You notice the absence of Matt Milano. You notice the absence of Bernard. You notice the absence of Taron Johnson. I love DeMar Hamlin's story, but when you look at DeMar Hamlin back there as a free safety, you have to ask yourself, is he a championship caliber starting free safety in the National Football League? I say that because Derrick Henry, first play of the game, 87-yard touchdown. Russell Douglas, I need you to show up and fill. Business he didn't. decision. DeMar Hamlin, I need you to take a better angle. Fine, you take a bad angle, it happens. You can't let a 247-pound running back scratch off on your 205-pound <laughs> self. It cannot happen. Defensively, you got to pick a struggle. If you're going to be undersized, you better be over speed. If you're going to be over, uh, 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 under speed, you better be oversized. You can't let Derrick Henry be bigger than you, faster than you, and stronger than you. Linebackers, they weren't coming downhill and smacking nobody. Number 42, mm. Patrick Ricard, had them linebackers on skates. Literally yeah, was, on skate. So bad. when I was looking at it, for me, the Bills were talent depleted. I don't necessarily know that they were scheme depleted, coaching depleted, though shout out to Todd Munkin, offensive coordinator. Chase, I think it was talent depletion. You could suggest bad sign for the Bills. Yeah, you, you could suggest it, but I do think it's a bad game because we all set up here and we all said, hey, the Bills are the class of the AFC other than the Chiefs. We, we said that Josh Allen, at least I did, was trustworthy more than Lamar Jackson. Of um, but it was it was apparent from the first snap, exactly like Shady said, that the Bills' lack of weapons was apparent. Like, like you could see just getting off the bus 
and you could really see the first three first downs. All the Ravens did on defense was they played man-to-man -man coverage on, and man. said, they, they said, hey, come and beat us. They tried, it was the first team all year that actually had a better talent pool of players, and it showed. Yeah. We didn't think so, or at least I didn't think so. Y'all did, but it showed, hey, just play man-to-man. -man. Let's see what Josh Allen can do. And the way they were rushing Josh Allen, it was called this mush rush. Mm -hmm. You keep him in the pocket. Now, we made some plays outside the pocket. But when the Bills, when the Ravens ran man-to-man, -man, the Bills were 4 of 10. Josh Allen was 4 of 10 for 32 yards. Okay, you, you don't have a man-beater. Keon Coleman, okay, dropped this beautiful ball from ball. Josh Allen yep. down the sideline. You got to make that catch. Shakira got open on a scramble drill. Josh held the ball for 10 seconds. You can only cover for so long. So I think that was the biggest thing coming into to the, to the game was the Bills were not able to run the football. And, and that was the biggest issue for me is like, you got to take some heat off of Josh Allen. You weren't able to, but schematically on offense, Joe Brady, you, you got out coached. Mm -hmm. Okay. He did Sch too. Schematically, um, Sean McDermott, you got out coached mm -hmm. by Todd Munkin. The, the, they were a better scheme last night. Now I think this is a really good team, uh, uh, time for the Bills to actually sit back and be like, hey, this is what we need to learn from this win. Mm -hmm. So I, to make it not become a bad sign, if that makes sense. It's a bad loss. I know it's over. Just a bad loss. Yeah, just a bad loss. I know it's overreaction Monday. It's just, it's just a bad loss. Now, if we were sitting up here like, man, did you see the Buffalo Bills defense? Man, Derrick Henry had 54 yards rushing. Offense ain't got no playmakers, though. They are if you like, man, you see the schemes, the co coaches dialing up. That's different. No. Everybody got work last night. Coaches, yep. players, offense and defense, everybody did not do their job last night. This is a bad, bad, bad team loss. They are still 3-1. and one. They, was down, they, they were playing extremely bad. Yep. And they had the ball down 7. It was 17-10 when Keon Coleman dropped that bomb. And then the very next play, they come back and they try to run a reverse flea flicker, whatever <laughs> they tried to dial up, and then it was fumble, and then the game got out of hand. So as bad as you were playing, if Keon Coleman catch that, you're still in this football game. So I, this right here was a bad game. I'm not saying bad sign. You still have one of the best players in the world under center. This was just one of them games, and we all have been in it. We all have been in an NFL game to where we stepped on the field like we better than this, yeah. and we just got beat down. I think that's what happened to the Buffalo Bills yesterday. Yeah, but yes, that's one point. But another point is like, Every play they had on offense had to come from Josh. Right? That, that bomb to, to um, Secure, that was Josh that Allen. Was hold the ball, hold the ball, wait, wait, wait. And then these bombs, and they had the arm strength mm -hmm. to get that ball over there. Mm -hmm. oh. My thing is, how you going to win in this league against the really, really good teams? Not, not the, 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 the regular teams. The really good teams well, when your quarterbacks do everything. No doubt. And then on defense, who is your, the difference makers, though? Because when I, as I'm watching, I'm like, I'm like, yo, this is the first time in the NFL in a long time where I'm like, yo, this team... It's way better on every level than yeah. the other team. And you've seen it. And the, the main reason that we was praising the Buffalo Bills in the 3-0 start was really their complimentary football. Yes. We talked about how well they was running the ball and Josh Allen getting the ball out of his hand. Well, all that went out the window when the Ravens go up 14-0. The yeah. first play of the game is 87 yards. So I just think they got out of their game plan, and now they went from let's try to stay with the run game. No, 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 no. We down, let's put this ball in Did Josh's they... hands. That's not how they want to play. Yeah, that's not how they want to play. But that's why eventually, you know, I'm not – going bad sign I'm going bad game with you because of Josh Allen Josh Allen is without a doubt the most important player really of anybody on any team to the Buffalo Bills he's the most valuable player he showed growth last night now he did as much as he could and you can only take the team so far he didn't force any throws I was waiting for this Josh Allen roller coaster of turnovers because he leads the league in turnovers since 2020 he had a turnover but a sack strip fumble on a horrible play call in my opinion like why are you doing that he didn't force anything. He didn't go out there and say, hey, you know what? We're down 17. I need to go force throws. I need to do this. Because you've seen him do it in the past. And that's sort of been the downfall of Josh Allen. Not really a downfall, but the roller coaster ride. I was more impressed with, all right, Josh stayed patient through the whole game. He took what was there, even without a run game. And I think if you're Buffalo Bills fans today, you're looking back from that perspective and you're saying, man, this guy showed me some growth that he can continue to play like this and not turn the football but over. But he, here's a dilemma, because I hear what y'all are saying, but the dilemma is this. James, you said if Keon Coleman would have caught that bomb, mm -hmm. that, but that's a part of the talent depletion, because maybe Stephon Diggs would have caught that Stephon bomb. Stephon catching that rock. So right now here. it's 17-17. I don't believe if you have Micah Hyde plus Jordan Poyer 
plus, uh, I can't say Tredavious White, but maybe Taron Johnson. Matt those Milano. schematically things are different. I don't believe Derrick Henry scratches off for 87 yards on the first goddamn play. That's the longest opening play from scrimmage since Terrell Pryor in 11 years ago would have been 2013. It's Stillers. It's Stillers. Uh, yes, 93-yard touchdown run. I don't believe that would have happened. I don't believe if you have Bernard out there, Bernard Hurt, plus Milano out there, I don't believe Ricard has linebackers yeah. on skates. Their specter was in there as a backup backer. So I hear what y'all are saying, and I think we're seeing the same things, drawing different conclusions. Yeah, but... My conclusion is the Ravens were able to make so many of those plays and dominate because of a lack of talent that the Bills have usually had. We can't have. touch on one play, though. Because Keon Coleman, after that drop, made two big boy catches right. on the sideline. I, I remember, I gave so you plays. It's, I know, but it's not like he can't make that play. He dropped it. Stephon Diggs dropped the ball as a Buffalo course. Bill before. You know what I'm saying? So I understand what y'all saying with superstar players. I get that. But not after one game. Now, if they was just like, man, listen, like I said, defense played bad. They manned up, strapped. Nobody got open. The Bills receivers were making plays, even if it's Josh Creighton. But Josh did drop back a couple times and say, here, Keon Coleman, go make me look yeah. good. And he did. And he dropped the big one. It was a big time play in the game. But those dudes can make plays. But when you look at this aspect, they beat the Cardinals Shady, they beat the Dolphins, they beat the Jags, a combined record of two and nine. I doubt you see the Cardinals in the playoffs with all due respect. I doubt you see the Dolphins in the playoffs with all due respect. You will not see the 0-4 Jags in the playoffs, <laughs> no respect except for you, Doug Peterson, and you, Press Taylor. So with that being said, when you play the Ravens, who you know you likely going to see in the playoffs, well, this game matters to me more than all three of those, oh, I would suggest, no combined. Right. No like, doubt. that's where I'm at with it, 2 and, and that's all I was talking about, like, like who you playing. For example, so we y'all only keep talking about the offensive part, which is cool. No, what about, what about the defense, defense, though, right? Because sure. I didn't see not one person like, yo, he liked that, or he's just... You ain't see it. And the Rams was dominating, you know. Whatever they wanted to do, they were doing. We keep talking about this Derrick Henry and Lamar running the ball. What about when they kept getting third and long and it was um, completing? Yeah, yeah. Right? And the other thing on offense, you keep talking about the Coleman situation. I just feel like when the team, okay, let me put myself back to football. So if we're going to play offense, right, we come out there, we're a good team, y'all a good team. And the first thing I say, yo, we're going to play y'all man the whole game. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. where to respect that? Yeah. That tells you something off the rip that, yo, yes, would. I feel like. Our cornerbacks and Saints are better than your wide receivers and tight ends. Yeah. And if you don't believe us, we're going to show you. We're going to yeah. play man this whole time, and y'all beat the us. Disrespect, yeah. But Stephon Diggs was out there. You see 14. They weren't playing that type of game. Wait, you going to put him on me? Bet. Josh, line it up. <laughs> now you don't have that threat. You don't have that threat. Yeah. So all, all I was saying is I think the Bills are a good team, but when you play against elite versus elite teams, I need my superstars to be better than your superstars. Andy Reid always says that. Yeah. And it's crazy because when I was 21 years old, I'm thinking, like, oh, he's just trying to motivate us. But he's really right. This game is all about coaches putting players in position to make plays, and I need my superstar guys I'm paying all this money to yeah. to be difference makers. Mm -hmm. And when you watch this game against the Ravens, the only difference makers you've seen was in black. It's, Oof, it's, almost like, it's almost like the Ravens said, hey, you know what? We're going to make it really easy schematically for yep. us. Let's just go play fast. Because if you look at their early games where the Ravens were losing, they made it all crazy and quick, stuff like that. You know quick, what I mean? Quick question. It, yeah. Quick question. Is, is Josh going to the playoffs? Yeah. 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 So what's the difference? What happened they when he gets to the playoffs? They right. just got to so beat the, the Ravens. I, th I don't think they're Stephon that much He lost with 13 seconds. He lost in the first round, the second round. Yes. So all I'm saying is it's one game, dog. Right. They three and one. It's a copycat league. They so we're so we going to watch this tape. We're okay, oh, oh, okay. so they played mid coverage. They kept Josh Conn in the pocket. Okay, that's how they won. Bet. I don't the know. next week, yeah. they'll do the same exact so, thing. So how about this week, I don't know if other teams have that talent, though. The Ravens played the Cincinnati Bengals with superstar players. What if they beat the Bengals? With superstar players. Are we still going to be sitting here saying that? You don't understand what I'm saying? Like, no, it's a game, I don't. dog. I don't. What up, YouTube family? Welcome to the facility. Thanks for watching. And you better be sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to get more highlights from the show and all of our exclusive content.